press the bell icon to never miss an update from placement interviews. Hi guys, this is Sunidhi from Placement Interviews and today we have Rohit Kumar Agarwal who has been placed in Robert Bosch Engineering Solutions. So let's see how his experience was. Uh, this is Rohit Kumar Agarwal and I'm uh, presently I'm studying in Jalpaigri Government Engineering College in the fourth year of my Electronics and Communication Engineering Department. Uh, presently, uh, two months ago, I have been placed in Robert Bosch Engineering and Business Solutions and it was a pool campus drive which was held in the Shiliguri Institute of Technology and I am really happy to be, play, uh, be a part of it. I am very happy to be a part of it. Tell us about your experience at the interview. Now, I just want to share my uh, the full experience of my placement procedure. I just want to share that uh, in the uh, 21st of August 2017, I, we just received a notification from Silicon Institute of Technology, TPO, that we have a pool campus drive which is going to be held for all the northeastern colleges uh, situated in the West Bengal and the Assam regions. So we were a part of it, we were invited. Uh, we were faced the first round for the Robert Bosch Engineering and Business Solution. This was a tech, uh, this was the uh, aptitude round, which was which consisted of aptitude and the technical rounds, and it has major uh, four sections. Uh, around about five to six colleges participated in that, and it uh, in which uh, we were a part of it, including many of the NITs from the northeastern regions, and one college was uh, Shiliguri Institute of Technology. Now I just want to highlight the points regarding the first round, which was the aptitude and the aptitude and the technical round. It comprised of the uh, like four sections, and it was conducted by the AMCAT, AMCAT, uh, which is a, uh, a partner of uh, a partner of Robert Bosch for the for, for the aptitude round. They conducted the round. Section uh, for the first section was the aptitude round, which first round was the general uh, general mathematics part. It was it does not include uh, that uh, the uh, the mathematics uh, the part which we generally solve for the RS Agarwal and the, it was just having the basic mathematics which can be uh, if uh, if uh, one can solve class 9 class 10 math it was having that it was very easy it means class, first section of general mathematics the second section and the first section comprised of round about 14 to 15 question and the time limit of 18 minutes the second round consists of the general reasoning. General reasoning was also very easy. I think if if one is, uh, uh, is studying in engineering, the, that is very easy for him. I think, and it was also consisting of uh, uh, eighteen questions, and time limit was something fifteen minutes. Section three, section three was uh, the the verbal section. Verbal section included many passages and the and the antonyms, synonyms, and the. Um, and various other part just means it was very easy. Uh, there were two paragraphs which was a bit lengthy, I think, in my opinion, and uh, that has to be tackled in very short time. And the English aptitude part was, uh, I think, it has um, uh, many number of questions. It was having 22 questions in total, and a time limit of uh, a time limit of 20 questions. In all the all these sections having a sectional cutoff, in my opinion, because I got uh, uh, I got information from some other sources. And the section four, which it was a, it was a, it was a technical round, as because I belong from the electronics and communication engineering department, so it has major, um, 18 questions from my the departmental subjects, which include control system, analog electronics, digital electronics, communications, microprocessors, and micro uh, microcontrollers are a major part of uh, for this placement in uh, placement drive. Uh, so I just attempted means the last round the uh, technical round was a bit difficult I, I am telling you because we have to be thorough with all our basic concepts until and unless we will not be able to uh, attempt the questions it was uh, a bit difficult I'm really telling and it was co ha having questions related to the embedded systems which we have not been studied yet we are studying in the present seventh semester so we have to be best prepared for the fourth round that is the main round thank you uh, this is the this is the regarding the first term is the aptitude and the aptitude and the uh, play first and then after that the second round was conducted means uh, uh, around about 250 students uh, sat in that examination and uh, after that uh, around about 52 should students shortlisted so uh, 52 students were shortlisted for the play, uh, interview drive interview drive was held after one week in the uh, Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology in the Sikkim and we all visited there, Sikkim, and after that it was held on the 4th of uh, September 2017. We all visited here, there, and from our college, Jalpaiguri Common Engineering College, we were 32 students which we were participated in that. We all gave, uh, went there, and after that, we, uh, we, the uh, first, first round for the interview round was the uh, was the technical uh, technical interview round. And so when, uh, there was, um, first of all, a PPT section which was given by the Robert Bosch officials who came from the Robert Bosch company and they gave, uh, presented a, a, 
here in front of them and after that there was a questionnaire round in which we discusses all our queries and they also just uh, tell our position for which position we are being uh, being, being placed and what is our uh, what are our perks and what is the salary and this and, and that after that there was the three three hr pad uh, there were three panels and which after that we were called random on a random basis and uh, first of all they just asked that if you want to come on a random basis then you can come so i just went on the second round of my panel and i was given i was allotted as a third panel i went into the and i i greeted him and after that the interview just rounded for a period of 40 minutes an interview section consists mostly of the project section after the interview just after the interview the second round i visited and uh, i just uh, gone into the second round in the second third panel of the uh, interview this is a third panelist and it was having a one to one one cross one uh, judgment only one interviewer was there and i was being interviewed and the interview last for 40 minutes 40 minutes in which the major things was uh, the they mostly discussed about my projects and the inter- the internships which i mainly focused on and they just do not want to for means uh, uh, they just do not want the internship full uh, they just want the main intention what is the main uh, the logic which we applied we don't they do not want the coding section and all in this what is the main objective and what is the application basis they just want that uh, what is the application of the project which you have did and uh, the project and the interview mainly uh, focused on the c and c++ questions means uh, major questions were asked from c and c++ and thirdly microprocessors and microcontrollers were the major part means i was asked the differences between the array and union what is the difference between array and what is the difference between union and um, and the uh, microprocessors and microcontrollers what is the u- what is the use of accumulators and where is various sign flags and this and that so we have to be f- thorough with our c and c++ and microprocessors and microcontroller basics they are not asking very uh, hard question they are asking very easy question but they just want to indulge so that we utter a uh, wrong word and they will trap us so just we don't have to be utter a uh, wrong word in front of them and just whatever we are speaking we have to be confident it means whatever we are speaking we have to be confident and uh, a lot of questions were asked from digital electronics as it is my background it is my departmental subject digital electronics and uh, some of the questions were asked from the and electronics too uh, digital electronics they asked me to draw a uh, multiplexer so, uh, the uh, 4 is to 1 uh, 8 is to 1 multiplexer so, uh, 32 is to 1 multiplexer so, using 8 is to 1 multiplexer so. so this were the major questions and digital electronics some basic question what is uh, uh what is uh, this um, input latch and what is flip flops what is the difference between jk flip flop and what is the difference between sr flip flop this type of may- means easy question just we have to be confident in front of them uh this was that and after that i was shortlisted for the hr round and hr round was i think it was very easy and hr round consists of uh, uh, it was a uh, 10 to 15 minutes of hr round and i was uh, being asked my introduction and my background and my family details who are there in my family and uh, they just want to my relocation part where where do you want to be uh, as because robert bosch has companies in bangalore and coimbatore so i just told that uh, i i do not have any bising regarding the co- location so they told me it's okay you have, as you are not having any bising and after that they asked me the profile also which uh, which is with the, which they can offer me so the, i just told her i am comfortable with both of the profile like the developer and the uh, testing profile they asked so they told me as because you are uh p- profession with both of the profiles so it's very it's very good from your side and after that i just greeted them and i and after that uh, one more question they asked do you have any questions so i just uh, asked regarding the csr activities involved in the robert bosch because after that asking uh, the csr activities they were quietly quite influenced from me after asking question for regarding the csr activities involved in the robert bosch after that i greeted them and i went out of the door and uh, after two days the uh, robert bosch placement after two days the year uh, results were declared and i was shortlisted and i was selected to so for the last question he sent us some uh, tips and tricks and his uh, top tricks were just to not expect the interviewer to read your resume and read out your achievements or your experiences at different places that you have interned or worked at explain your projects yourself and uh, also be abreast with the company you are sitting for and be confident and do not uh, try to be someone else to impress the company because later on in life uh, you will regret this decision very much because you will be stuck at a job you don't like so that were the top tips and tricks uh, that he shared with us 
so that was all from Rohit and uh, we hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel and leave your comments in the comment section and uh, I'll leave the links to our all social media handles so you can subscribe there to keep up with whatever we are coming up with and uh, see you soon